What is up you beautiful people and welcome back to Eve with Rafi. So today we are going to learn about PCB designing software named Eagle. We are going to learn about Eagle software, what is Eagle software, how to do PCB design, how to design your own circuit, everything in this PCB design series. So let's get this video started. So before we get our hands on the software, we need to download the software. So to download it, we need to go to Chrome and search this autodesk.com. Basically, the Eagle software is powered by Autodesk. It has in it. So you need to come to this website. Once you come into the website, you can see over here, it asks us to choose the operating system, the Windows, the Mac or the Linux. So depending upon your own operating system, you can just download any version you want. Once you click download, it starts downloading. It's a very small file. Then you need to click on it, double click on it. It starts installing in your software. Once the software gets installed, it will run automatically as it launches automatically. Then it asks you to sign in or sign up, whatever. Then you do it. Then you open the software. But there is a catch. Mine is a Windows 11, but for me, this version of the software isn't working. So what I had to do is I had to go and download the previous software, like the previous versions of this software. So to do that, see, I'll mention this link for you in the description, like Eagle version of 7.7. .7. Now it's 11.7 .7 or something, 11, 11th software, 11th gen is going on, I guess, right now. So for me, this is working. It's a 2016 software, but in this software, for me, the uh, mine is Windows 11, so it's working very fine. So I just tried it before recording it. So I'm doing this for you here. You can even install for the Linux 62, 34, Mac and Windows as well. So this is how you can download the software from the website. I'll mention these links in the below. So once you download the software, you can see this logo. Okay. This Eagle 7.7.0. Now this logo, like this is a previous version. So this logo looks like this. But for the present versions, it looks a diff bit different because it changed the logo. That's okay. So once you open the Eagle software, you can see the area right now. This is a control panel. Towards left, you can see the documentation tree, libraries tree, design rules tree, user language programs tree. These are called trees, okay? Because the control panel, under control panel, we have all of these. Now let me show you what all the individual things does. Let me just unfold this. Yep. First, go to the documentation section. Okay, so here you can see all of the manual. Like see here, you can see the user manual, PDF, the text or tutorials. If you're stuck anywhere in between of your project, like you don't know what to do or anyhow, I'm here to help you. But if in case you, you need to try on spot, then that's where you go in the documentation section. In the documentation tree, <laughs> then we get the libraries. Eagle software has hundreds of libraries, like so many libraries in it. You just see. Every company has its own libraries. There are many libraries which you can use depending upon your project and the file. Then comes the design rules. Here in design rules, you can see the different type of formats the design house needs. Okay, like your PCB design manufacturers are there who need certain set of files. Those files can be found in that design rules. Like you can check whether those manufacturer requirement and your program output is that same. You can check it in the design rules. Next, we go to the user language program. In user language program, it allows, like Eagle allows us to script it, you know, modify it in the form of text so that we can take different forms of input and generate output. So that's one with the, that's a great advantage with Eagle. Like you can script it basically. In scripts too, it's similar. Then comes the cam job. In cam job, you can see the schematic, the layout, the Gerber file. In this, all of these are present, okay? Now, the main thing, the projects. Here you can see I already created a project name first project. I'll say about that now. Okay. Before that, let's see the examples. In examples, you can see there are different kind of small, small, you know, like the tutorials or small projects there to get started before you properly enter into your project. So you can check out the examples. There are many. So in Eagle section, you saw we have a project name first project. Now to create a project or a folder, anything, you can just do a right click. You can see new folder, new project, edit description, everything. So let's go with a new project and give our project name a second. So now you saw we created a project name second under Eagle file, like under the Eagle folder. So here you can see a green dot beside second, right? It says empty project. That's okay because there is nothing in it. And here you can see the green dot. The green dot indicates that particular project is being activated. Okay, you can go with the first project. See, now if I go with the first project, if I click here, 
see the green light or the dot which you can say is been to the first project which means the first project is been activated if i open the project it will take me to the first project not to the second project so this is how you can you know under a particular folder you can create different kind of projects like uh, suppose you are breaking down a project into uh, multiple parts so you can create multiple parts under one folder itself then you can access individual project as you are required that's very good so now we are in second project okay now let's click here we have activated right to open the project basically we have to get into like we need to go to the schematic so again click right click on to the second project then it says new then go to schematic so this is a schematic window here you can see in the schematic window towards left side we have so many tools and towards up we have many options okay what are these and how to use everything we'll see in the next video so you learn in the next video about all of the tools and the software how to place components how to remove components everything that's going to be in the next video for that stay subscribed to the channel comment down below what you want to see in the next like how do you want to create a project or you have a particular project in mind which you want me to create then i'll create it for you so see you guys in the next video bye bye